Welcome to the video by DJ's PRC. We're back for Project Cherokee. We're almost a roller now. But before we continue, I would like to say this video is brought to you by Great Hobbies. www.greathobbies.com Check out their website. They're awesome. Last video we did the front axles with the shocks itself. Now we're going to go do the back one. And that's step 39. We'll put the chassis like here. Flip this upside down. The two longer ones go in the middle. And these guys goes, goes on the sides. When you flip this correctly here, that's where it lines itself. And the center, the center dry shaft, we're going to wait to install it. Now we're going to flip these guys in the back and hit the mic at the same time. We're going to insert, try to insert this guy in. Seriously. Sometimes they are a pain to install. There we go. We're going to grab our screw and this guy is the longer one. Grab our driver, our two mil. <clears throat> And I'm not going to use my electric driver for these guys here. They're easy to strip. And again, don't over tighten these guys because they're easy to strip. Now I'm going to do the other side and probably have the same issue. Yeah, a little bit faster with this one. They should do a contest. With certain uh, kits, the fastest builder of the kits. Not sure if it does exist, but pretty sure the guy wouldn't win or the girl wouldn't win with an axial. Their plastic tolerance is uh, sometimes, yeah. That's for another day, another story. Or like a couple of guys that I know will say, I digress. Now we'll grab our smaller ones and go on top of here. Screw this guy. Again, don't over tighten. If it does happen, you over tighten a screw and it strips itself. Put a little bit of CA on your screw, screw it back in, leave her alone for 15, 20 minutes. For it to completely dry and it's going to rebuild your all the thread the treads the treads i can't even speak anymore now our back end is physically able to move we're flipping it and we're going to install our shocks front is yellow white is back And it's in the, they're suggesting the first hole. Screw in the top. And I'm not going to go full, full tight. Tighten or something. I'll be able to readjust that at the end. Once the vehicle is a full roller. Now here becomes a little bit trickier because of this here. I know you can't really see the lockout here. Uh, it's in the way. The other thing I could do, remove it, flip it and have it on this side here. 
But what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove my screw. Yeah, it actually hits, it's in my way. Take two seconds here. I'm going to flip these guys opposite. Put them that way. Doing this, they won't be in my way anymore. Now, I'm not sure if the book tells you to put them that way or not. I would need to back up in the steps and see it. That could have been me doing it wrongly. I don't remember. <clears throat> I'll go take a look further down the book and see. But if you guys know, let me know in the comments. Now I'm going to tighten her back. Again, not completely tight. And I'm going to do the other side. Now the reservoir, you can't, it's up to you which side you want to put it. If you like, prefer to have it facing forward, go ahead, put it forward. I don't really mind which side they go, as long as they're all matching, that's what counts, I would assume. Back up a bit here. There we go. Now our vehicle supports itself. What we have to do now, it's our center drive shaft. Grab our center link. Grab our drive shaft. Again, turn the middle until it gets to the center. We'll remove our screw here. And drop it at the same time. That's okay. Stretch it over it. I'm just going to grab my driver to make sure I'm completely all aligned and squared in. Make sure it's tight. There we go. Flip it. There we go. Now, if you guys have any comments or questions, post down below. I'll be gladly to answer you guys. And if you did like this video, give it a thumbs up. It's right here in the corner. Beside it, you have a bell notification letting you know next time I upload a video. Hit that if you want to be notified. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching.